Hey guys, and welcome back to The Game Code. Now, as some of you might know, a lot of the gaming conventions happen here in Halifax, like HalCon or Frag for Cancer. A lot of the other provinces are trying to get in on that action too, however, and one example of that is the Fredericton Gaming Expo. We were luckily there for that, so let's take a look. Yeah, I'm the marketing director at the uh, Capital Exhibit Center here, the Ferguson Exhibition Limited. And um, so we have a, a venue uh, year round that we try to find uh, unique um, events for. And um, this event fit with it uh, really well. Yeah, today's uh, it's been an awesome day. We've got casual gaming going on, we've got uh, tabletop games, we have vendors that are uh, selling items related to, to gaming and to things sort of you know, nerd and geek related, which is awesome. I love it. And we've got, I think, seven competitions going on on the floor right now. And uh, we're also giving away prizes and, uh, and free stuff uh, throughout the weekend. So it's been it's fun for everybody, I think. It's the Vernon Gaming Expo. And so our committee actually took a little bit to come up with a name that we all liked. But uh, we figured FGX is a great little acronym. And it represents what we're trying to do is have an event that's uh, competitive but fun for, uh, for people who just want to watch, too. I work here at the center, and so I, it's, it's empty. Uh, for a number of days of the year, and um, we looked at it one day, and it's like, you know what, we could we could host a video game conference, I think. And uh, I, I sent a uh, Facebook message out to my buddies, and uh, they're like, you know what, you should talk to this John Quinn guy. He's really into this. I'm like, all right, sounds great. So I, I uh, got a message, I think, 35 seconds later from John Quinn, and I was like, all right, just give me a call. I want I don't I don't like this on Facebook. Let's talk about this. And so John and I talked about it for um, a, few, a, uh, a little while. And uh, we had a conference call on Skype uh, with the other uh, organizers. And uh, within like um, two Skype conference calls, we're like, this is actually going to be really big and awesome. So um, I always like organizing events that I like to go to. And um, for the center here, it's, it's, a, it's a new event for the Fredericton area and even New Brunswick. They're not here uh, very often. And, um, you know, it's, it's been great to reach out to the community and, uh, and uh, entertain some people uh, that we, we might not get to entertain uh, normally. So there's a number of different games, seven different games that we're actually having competitive play in. And uh, so we're having uh, Street Fighter, Marvel, Injustice, and Smash for our fighting games. We have StarCraft 2 for our RTS. We have Call of Duty for our first person shooter. And we have League of Legends on PC. I met with John Quinn, who's from Esports Canada. He works StarCraft, he runs a lot of StarCraft tournaments in the area. And we got in touch about maybe putting together something in the Fredericton area. So me and Steve worked together at Atlantic Gaming, so we all had met in Skype and we decided like, as a group we wanted to do something, some kind of event. Uh, we got Mike involved, Mike Daniels from Ralston Arcade to do some streaming and run some fighting games. And we just started Skyping every week. We started putting meetings together and then we got Duncan involved for the venue and it all came together. Okay, so we have wet and dry areas. Um, it's like a bar craft. We stream different games, so we're streaming StarCraft WCS. We're streaming uh, TI3, Inter uh, the International, I guess. And uh, the fighting games that are being played are locally are actually being streamed there. And Blizzard hooked us up with a, a big box of stuff for the bar craft, which was awesome. Stickers, lanyards, a bunch of stuff that says I love StarCraft. So that was awesome. Uh, we sort of put Atlantic Gaming events on a halt to do this one. It took a lot of work and a lot of our time. So we're looking to in the future though, definitely. We want to definitely make this an annual thing. But we're, me and Stephen LeBlanc are also working with Frag, Frag for Charity, which everyone knows about. So we plan to bring shooting games to that and really do a good job. Uh, we have a Facebook page, uh, there's a website, the FredericktonGamingExpo.com. Our Facebook page is slash FredericktonGamingExpo. We also have Atlantic Gaming, so Facebook.com slash Atlantic Gaming. And we have an Atlantic Gaming Twitter, which is Atlantic Gaming. 
The Atlanta gaming scene is growing rapidly. Uh, the first, about a year ago when we had our first event, we had about eight teams of four attend and we thought that was really successful. We had a small little venue and it was good. We had good prizing, good sponsors. And uh, the next event we had, we grew a little bit more, 15. And then when we got more people involved, we could really get a nicer venue and a lot more teams. And now I think a lot of people are really getting to esports in general and it's really moving east, which is good. The tournament with the most competitors by far is League of Legends. It smashed the registration. Uh, maybe in a week we were full and we had four teams on the waiting list. And the game I like the most and looking forward to watching is StarCraft, of course, because I compete in it and I'm helping run it. So. So the idea came about, basically, we, uh, we were talking to Esports Canada and Us Atlantic Gaming and Ralston Streaming. Basically, we wanted to make an event that had all the main types of games and put them all together into one big event. Um, we ended up uh, getting a call from the venue owner, who was Duncan, and uh, he wanted to set up some kind of event. So it just kind of clicked all into place and uh, away we went. <laughs> So the Gamers Lounge is basically an area for people to watch either streams uh, that we have going that are playing inside the event or other streams that are happening around you know, the states or um, there's uh, WCS. We also have uh, UMG playing for a little bit. Uh, basically that's streaming uh, StarCraft and Call of Duty. Um, we also have a bar that just opened up uh, recently. It's uh, 2 o'clock. Basically, if you, if you wanted drinks and stuff, you can go in there and have a few drinks. We make sure everyone stays in there and of age. <laughs> so originally when we first started talking about it, we thought maybe two to 200, 250. Then as people started signing up, maybe 300, 350, we've shattered those numbers. Uh, we're well into the 400s. Um, just amazed at how much support we have from everyone coming out here, but it's a great turnout. So some of the games online today are uh, League of Legends, we have StarCraft which is online, and we have the streaming run by Ralston which is, online, which is obviously run through there as well. Um, the games that aren't online are Call of Duty, Super Smash Bros, um, and a few of the fighters. Now the way we, we tested them all yesterday, now with the bandwidth, we also got, uh, we called up uh, Bell Alliant for Fiber Op because basically it's the only thing that can handle big, big events like that. I personally have Fiber Op, 175 down, never gives me problems, it's the best thing I've had. Um, and they've been great help, I mean, uh, the internet hasn't dropped, it's, it's just perfect right now, and there's no bandwidth cap, so it's perfect, it helps so much. Um, but where, where it's going now, I mean, we're thinking we're going to have a lot more Bell Alliant help because the uh, next event will be basically all League of Legends and StarCraft, so all internet. <laughs> Uh, so we have uh, quite a few people in the land of Canada that are looking for, you know, somewhere to game. Um, originally it started at Frag for Cancer that we saw, you know, wow, there's a lot of people out there. So we started a small thing at like Atlantic Gaming, uh, which is first person shooters and stuff like that. Just a small thing. And uh, it's growing. More and more people are coming out every year. Uh, we're excited to see where it goes and uh, can't wait to see what, uh, what the future brings. Hey guys, my name is John Quinn and I'm here at the Fredericton Gaming Expo, the first event of its kind here in capital city of New Brunswick, Fredericton. We've had over 500 people attending today and I have one of the people here who stopped by to talk to us about the event. Brian, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. How are you guys doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you enjoying the uh, first ever Fredericton Gaming Expo so far? This is going really great. It's a lot bigger, a lot more uh, organized than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot, you know, less people here, but it turned out to be a really good time. And are you competing today? Uh, yeah, I'm playing in a StarCraft tournament. And uh, what skill level are you at StarCraft? Well, I'm only in Diamond, and it's, it's, it's going pretty rough, actually. A lot of them have chose to be my... Everyone is Zerg, I'm just terrible at it, but you know what? I'm here for the experience. Albert, how are you doing today? Not too bad, John. How about yourself? I'm doing fine. Were you competing today in any tournaments? 
Yes, I'm competing for uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee, and uh, I'm enjoying it really, really bad right now. It's the first time I've, I've been to this event, and I probably recommend a lot of people to join us and be part of this awesome energy over here. And how have you done so far in the tournament? Oh, well, I lose my first round, but um, I'm getting back on the uh, loser uh, bracket, so I may be, be able to get some good competition. And also, this is my first year, so I'm not expecting to be a champion, but I'll be ready for next year. Fantastic. And have you checked out any of the other games here available at the Expo? Yes, I checked the War Machine. I checked also all the uh, Warhammer stuff installation. I love StarCraft. StarCraft's amazing. And there's some good competitors over here, too. In League of Legends. It's awesome too. I used to play League of Legends, but I didn't, re I never didn't register for that. I, I went for melee. Take a short break, guys, but when we come back here to the Game Code, we're going to have the one, the only, like I said before, my partner in crime, Mr. Maximus Black. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this. If you're looking for some competition in your city, here are your local gaming weeklies and monthlies. Drop in to hang out with some like-minded people and maybe even smack them around at your game of choice. <laughs> 